Hello everybody. Um, I made a video the other day about some stupid Facebook thing. Anyway, I do couponing. I coupon, I do freebies. There's not a whole lot I don't do on, um, to save any type of money because I work uh, for basic pay <laughs> like 90% of America does. And um, anything I can do to save money is going to help me in the long run. I like to take vacations, I like to go places, I like to see stuff. And the only way you can do that is if you save money in some other areas of your life. I like to to coupon. So definitely what I want to talk to you about today is basic couponing 101. Alright? And this is going to be couponing for dummies. So you're going to say, Casey, it's so hard to get coupons. Oh my god, what am I going to do? Okay, one, it's not hard to get a freaking coupon. Okay, you don't have to buy the Sunday paper. Nine times out of ten, I buy maybe one Sunday paper a month. If that, because I always forget, it's Sunday. Sunday is my day to not leave the house. And if I do leave the house, it's because I found a good deal online. So, no. So here is what we're going to do. First thing, what is a coupon? This is a coupon right people say you can't print money at home that it's illegal no it's not it's a coupon coupon is your money okay you can walk into a store with a handful of coupons and save half of your grocery bill and it is not like this extreme couponing bullshit that they show on TV not at all no all you have to do is print the coupon find the sale and do it but it's so time consuming how do you match up everything there are websites that will do it for you okay I will post some of the some of the websites that I personally go to in the little comments below that way you can you can click on them um, I do like hip to save uh, dot com I like uh, freebie shark dot com I like um, coupon teacher com those are some really good sites and they also do coupon matchups also all you have to do is go to your browser type in google.com type in the store that you shop in and then coupon matchups when you type in let's say I shop at Bilo and Food Lion so I type uh, Harris Teeter or Bilo coupon matchups and then I put the date that the sale started on most stores will start their their sales on the Wednesdays so it's from Wednesday to Wednesday or from Wednesday to Tuesday and Wednesday is the new sale. So that Wednesday you type in that that uh, full date and make sure you put 2013. And then you'll be able to see a listing of all the websites that have already gone ahead and matched up all your coupons for you. So there you go. Also there's freebies. I get freebies all the time in the mail like this one. Alright, it's Tina products. Tina, if you don't know, they make like adult diapers and and um, products like that they had a link about a week or two ago that was two coupons for high value priced off now one of them was for seven dollars off any Tina product um, they also sell things like um, feminine pads and stuff like that and definitely that's what I use these coupons for but they also sent me another coupon for $14 off an underwear product alright now the thing about these is of course I don't use the underwear products but I know several people who actually do so I'll go ahead I'll get the coupon okay or I'll get the freebie for the underwear and I'll put them in a bag and at the end of the month I take that bag and I give it to somebody and I do that with all my freebies I get yeah, ask for all kind of stuff I get I get male stuff in the mail I'm single I don't date anybody so I have nobody to give men's body wash to so I just put it in a bag and I let my sister actually take it to work and she will put it on the table and people will just take out what they want I've never had anybody not take something I mean she always comes back with an empty bag I've even had my bag taken before so I learned to use paper a plastic bag for that now but um definitely everybody takes coupons now everybody Walmart, Kmart will double coupon sometimes, Harris Teeter, Bilo, um, they double coupons, so up to a dollar. If you have a 75 cent off coupon, it doubles to a dollar fifty off. If you have a dollar coupon, it doesn't double. However, if they do a super double, which means they will double a coupon up to two dollars, then they will definitely double your coupon. So if you have, let's say, let me see, let me find a good one here for you. 
Okay, here's one. A dollar off of two Kraft Natural shredded cheeses. Now, this one died two days ago, so obviously this is time to be recycled, okay? So, let's say Harris Heedle is super doubling. They're supposed to do it next week. Just a tip. But if they're going to sit there and do a super double, then this coupon would double for $2 off. So what that means is that this cheese, this particular type of cheese, is usually about $3.38. Trust me, I would be fantastic on prices, right? But for about $3.38, this coupon will double for $2 off, or for $2 off. So you'll get each pack for $2.33. That may not sound like a lot, okay? But think about it. You walk into a grocery store, you, you drop $100 automatically on anything. I don't care who you are. You can be shopping alone. You can be shopping for a family of four. It doesn't matter. You usually are going to drop between $70 and $100 for one person to eat for the week. And that's if you cook at home a lot. If you don't and you tend to eat out, then you're willing more money than I am. So this, you have one coupon. This doubles. All right. So super double. This is $2 off. All right. Let's say I use this one for Earthbound Farm products, which is lettuce and stuff like that. It's a dollar off, so that's two dollars off. That's four dollars off. I've only used two coupons where I say four dollars. Okay, here we go. A dollar off of five Totino's pizza rolls, right? A dollar off. That's six dollars off. Six bucks. And here's another one. Here's a dollar off two packages of Armor pepperoni. That's, there's $8. I'm just saved $8 because all of these have doubled because it's super double coupon week. Alright. And toilet paper, dollar off, I just saw. Right, 10 bucks. So one, two, three, four, five. So five coupons, five coupons. I have saved $10. Okay. Now think about it. You do this every every week for two months. Let's say every week for two months, you do your coupons. You take the savings from you that you have saved from your coupons and you put it in a piggy bank or you put it in a little savings account, whatever you want to do with it. In two months, you will have close to about $300. $300 that was given to you because you decided to print out a few coupons each week to use on stuff that you're already going to freaking buy. Why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you do that? You know, I'm standing in line and people behind me, they say, oh my God, she's got coupons. Yes, yes I do. You know why? Because I'm poor. You know what poor people do? They coupon. And I've seen rich people do it. Rich people coupon. I mean, why wouldn't you? This is money. You've printed out your own freaking money. It may not have a little green and it doesn't smell like money, but this is money, my friend. Money. And let's see. Walmart. This is how I put my coupons together. Some people have a binder that they flip through. Unfortunately, I don't have a binder. But I use an envelope process. So I have an envelope with each store's name on it. Walmart, Target, Harris Teeter. And then I go through the sales ads and I put the coupons in the envelope that I'm going to use. And sometimes if there's a lot of stuff that I know I'm going to have to buy, I'm going to have to go through it all. I will fold that up and I will stick it inside of the envelope. So when I get to the store, I pull out the envelope I'm going to use. I take out the paper and I take out my coupons. Like these. Now, here's what I got in here. This is the Walmart envelope. Walmart. Walmart doesn't double or triple coupons. Typically, they don't run sales on their food. So this is pretty much everyday pricing for them. Like right now on coupons.com, and I'll put a link to coupons.com below, you can get this coupon for $2 off a Glade Expressions, I think it's a fragrance mist kit. Yeah, so it is. Okay, $2 off, right? You're thinking, oh my god, it's Glade. Yeah, it's Glade. These things are $2.80 at Walmart. $2.80. I got $2 off of one. You know what that means? I just got that Glade Expressions thing for $0.80. Cent. $0.80. Cent. That is more than 75% on savings on that one okay I have two of these I have two of them so I'm getting four dollars off two Glade expressions that I'm going to stick under my sink with the other 400 I have I buy these things all the time you know why because they make good gifts you got a neighbor that moved in you have somebody who just bought a house you can stick these in the gift basket and give it to them and be done and be like welcome to the neighborhood bitch Okay, anyway, don't say bitch. They, they would probably be offended, but that's how I talk. Anyway, I'm trying to get everything in as quickly as I can. And here is three coupons for a dollar off the Hormel Sandwich Makers products. See, see the little, see the little picture. Okay, these are usually either going to be around where the 
around where the soups are or the canned food. Sometimes I'll put them where the canned meat is and sometimes I'll find them over there where the soups is. These things, they go in your cabinet and they're meat that you can like make sandwiches with. I like the ones that have the meatballs in it. They're meatballs and you make little meatball sandwiches out of them. They're $1.98. These are a dollar off coupons. I have three dollars. Okay, so I have three of them. So I'm going to Walmart. I'm going to use five coupons and these are four dollars these are three dollars I'll save seven dollars right you know how much my damn total is going to be five dollars and twenty cents five dollars and twenty cents for all of this because this is what I did I went online and I printed these out these are not coupons that I paid for all you have to do is go to the website install their little coupon bar and their little coupon bar is just something that runs in the background it tallies how many coupons you print because you're only allowed to print two coupons per computer and I got three because I have multiple computers in the house um, so yeah that's it that's all you gotta do print these out take them to Walmart take them to Target take them to wherever the hell you shop slap them bitches up on the table and be like bitch please here's my money today and I will guarantee you if you take the money that you save every day when they tell you well today miss whoever you are you have saved this amount of money go home take that amount of money and put it in your piggy bank or put it in your savings account and then in two months come back and tell me how much you saved because I guarantee it'll be way more than you ever thought possible okay anybody can coupon and I don't care who you are anybody can do it it is simple it's easy it's a coupon it's not shotgun you aren't breaking the rules I find it a game I play a game with it how much can I pay today with paper out of my printer paper out of my printer simple I have saved so much money using coupons and getting freebies like this one that came in the mail it's ridiculous it is ridiculous how much money I have saved yesterday Let's see, what did I get in the mail yesterday? Yesterday I got a box of polenta, which is some kind of like cornmeal type stuff. A whole box. It was like a, a big size for free. I don't even know where I got it from. I guess some freebie. Um, I do have a Facebook group for freebies if you want to join. Uh, I'll put the link, of course, in below. I, apparently I'm going to have a long list of links for you. But um, we have about 150 members. Every day when I find a freebie, I, I try to post it. I do work from 12 to 8.30, so typically I'll post on my breaks. So sometimes we may miss a freebie. But definitely if this is something you want to do, if you're interested, you can go ahead and join. I also try to post any kind of coupon matchups for stuff that's free or extremely cheap. Um, typically... Um, I try to keep that updated as much as I possibly can. Anyway, so this is all I got to tell you today. Um, if you have any any questions, post them in the comments below or message me, whatever, whatever you're happy with doing. Um, definitely, I want to thank you, of course, for watching. And I know this wasn't very funny. I know last time, apparently, everybody thought when I said... Um, I am rape bait. I am a rapist bait. It was really funny. So uh, uh, I'm glad I made you laugh. I, I like to make people laugh. So, but yeah, I'll post another another video soon. I don't know what it's going to be about. Apparently, this is just whatever is on Casey's mind type of thing. So, um, thanks and have a great day. Bye bye.